All right, this uh, is a assembly line project where it's it seems rather simple. Where basically this this capacitive sensor is going to detect a part, then open the gate, and then the photo eye down there is going to count it. We're going to have status set up through this stack light, and everything's going to be controlled by this HMI. Now, what makes this unique is this thing right here. I'll this has got two setups to control this and this using a protocol called IO-Link, and that's set up to have a digital out input with that photo eye and the solenoid being controlled by this block. So as you can see, there are no inputs wired in. Yes, we have a, a, a motor, a, a variable frequency drive controlling this, this motor underneath here, um, but everything can be controlled by this HMI. And you can also see a status over there. Yes, we're in the middle of a, this, this is the final go around. But we're gonna start this, but cover your ears because it's gonna let everyone know we're ready to go. So start. And now every time it passes, you can see the photo Y counts and you can see the count, the active count is going to be showing up on the light. And you can see the count on the screen as well. So. And one other thing is on this, if this sensor doesn't detect a part for a little bit, it's going to automatically turn off the conveyor belt. And if he sends another part down, no big deal. It'll just recount it in a second. But you can see the active count is right there on the HMI. And it just reset, went down another count. And now if we let it sit for a second, you'll see a timeout and it'll give us a warning on the stack light that there's no parts ready to be fed. Now, this could be expanded upon. A robot could be placing a, a thing on a conveyor belt. Um, but there you go. The timer is now timed out and you can see that the this is not moving and it's giving us an error that the, uh, the, to let us know that we need to restart the process. So, pretty advanced setup and a good, a good illustration of IL-Link technology.